Welcome to Shakespeare's Hamlet, Act 5. Let's get this started with. Alright, this is the final act. Uh, so what happens in this act is pretty interesting, as well as pretty little bit naive, if you kind of ask me. Let's start this off. So, we're in the graveyard, the scene is the graveyard, and Hamlet is going ahead and contemplating life and death using a skull of a very old friend. Oh, poor Yorick! He was a funny guy! He then sees Ophelia's body lowered into the grave, and he's like, Ophelia? This wasn't supposed to happen, I loved her! I loved her more! And they wouldn't have dug down then and there if it wasn't for the king coming in and ordering them to duel. No, just to make the difference between between uh, the swords of Hamlet and Laertes, I went ahead and made Hamlet's hilt, Hamlet's sword's hilt to be a little bit curved. Uh, why, why can't I draw? Okay, there we go. So, three, two, one, fight! Ha! Close one. Hiya! That's one for Hamlet. Block. So this is basically what happens. I'm not drawing the entire fight scene. Hamlet gets two hits. And Laertes gets a hit. They accidentally switch swords and Hamlet hits Laertes. Gertrude toasts to Hamlet and practically drinks down the poisoned wine. Drops dead because of the poison. Laertes snitches the entire plan. And Hamlet kills Claudius with the sword and makes him drink from the poisoned wine. Basically says, I forgive you to Laertes. He says, Ditto! And the entire royal family is dead. Fulton Ross comes in, hails Hamlet as a hero, saying that if he were to live, he would have truly been royal. And then he basically tells Hamlet is a pretty good, is a fallen soldier, fallen warrior, and then he takes the kingship of Denmark. For the king of the king of Norway becomes the king of Denmark at the same time. Wow. And that's pretty much Shakespeare's Hamlet. This is the entire summary of Shakespeare's Hamlet, all Act 5 acts. And until next time, Shinan Aukis, bye bye. I'll see you in the full book summary. See you!